taxpayer money is being used or put at risk with this action. Deposit protection is provided by the Deposit Insurance Fund, which is funded by fees on banks. Janet Yellen today continuing the charade. The bailout of Silicon Valley Bank and others won't cost the taxpayers a dime. Hogwash. The Deposit Insurance Fund is funded by fees on banks. Where does that money come from? All of us who have bank accounts, all of us who pay taxes. In other words, fees from your checking and savings account and everything from Bank of America to the First National Bank of Small Town America goes to bailing out the billionaires in Silicon Valley. It is that simple, and anybody telling you otherwise is just lying. And it's happening again. Just hours before the announcement of a massive rescue package for First Republic Bank, the Wall Street Journal reports bank executives sold millions upon millions worth of stock earlier this month. In other words, they got richer, and now we, all of us, will likely bail out First Republic's account holders. Full disclosure, I have an account at First Republic and my mortgage. I hope they, and thus I or anybody else, does not get bailed out above the $250,000 limit. Everybody enjoys that from the FDIC. Everybody signed up for the same deal. Everybody should play by the same rules. Oddly enough, we used to believe in fairness in this country. The billionaires seem not to. As Roger Lowenstein just wrote in the New York Times, the first plank of capitalism is that it entails risk. Once you take risk out of the part of a bank's operation, it is hard to let market principles govern the rest. Mitch Rochelle is here, visiting research fellow at the University of San Diego School of Business, founding partner at Macro Trends Advisors. All right, Mitch, fundamental unfairness to the American economy keeps getting worse. It is like a cancer. It is very difficult and painful to treat, but the longer you let it go on, the longer you keep bailing out more and more of these situations, at some point the cancer becomes deadly, does it not? No, you're, you're absolutely right, Leland. Uh, and let's think about where all this started. After the financial crisis, when what did we do? We bailed out banks. The Fed and the Treasury Department continued to just throw money at the economy, printing money like crazy, which ultimately led to where we are today. You, you can't pump the system full of money and then miraculously take it away, which is what they did in the last, let's say, you know, six months, and then not think that there are going to be repercussions. And what do they do? They go back to the same old playbook and bail out the people that got us into trouble in the first place. Yeah, the, the repercussions is what nobody really wants to deal with. But at some point, uh, it's like a kid has to come down from a sugar high. And apparently the billionaires uh, and investors in Silicon Valley Bank threw enough of a tantrum coming off the sugar high that the Fed and everybody else said, OK, OK, fine, 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 we'll do this. Um, this was an interesting exchange, I thought, between... Uh, Senator Langford and Janet Yellen, take a listen. Will my banks in Oklahoma pay a special assessment to be able to make Chinese investors whole from Silicon Valley Bank? Uninsured investors will be made whole in that bank, and I suppose that could include foreign, inv foreign depositors. Am I too idealistic to think that there's a way off of the nonstop sugar high? Um, the, well, the problem is if you completely rip away the sugar from the patient, and if the patient uh, is addicted to sugar, uh, you're going to have some sort of, uh, you know, DTs or something like that. What's most alarming about what uh, Treasury Secretary Yellen said, she conflated investors and depositors. And those are two completely different constituent groups. Investors are the people who own the bank. Depositors are people who loan money to the bank, you and me. And they're completely different. And she conflated the two of them. So it's a little alarming that the person, you know, sitting in the meetings deciding how to bail out banks doesn't know the difference. Or, or doesn't want us to think that there's a difference, right? That, it, that the conflation right. was not accidental, but, but, on, but on purpose, which is probably even worse. Um, frankly, uh, Mitch, I, I wish I would always feel better after these, but I, it just makes me feel worse, uh, sadly enough. I appreciate it, though. It is good to see you. Seeing you makes me feel better. We'll talk to you soon. You got it, Leland. Good to see you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.